East Lansing is working on $3.2 million worth of improvements to parks and recreation areas across the city. The pandemic has significantly impacted the city's revenue, so where exactly is the money coming from? If you visited Patriarch Park in East Lansing, you've probably noticed the orange cones and caution tape. We are completely renovating the pavilion and restrooms in Patriarch Park. Assistant Director of Parks and Recreation Wendy Longpre says this is one of five parks and recreation improvement projects the city has planned. Our infrastructure is aging, um, just as you know when when our bodies age. Sometimes it takes a little more energy and a little more you know money to do the things that that um, you know our our bodies need to do. Total, this project will cost around $639,000. So there's just going to be a lot of, of things that we've not tried before, including a solar array, which is going to provide all of the power that we need for one of the restroom buildings. The Aquatic Center is also under construction. The $410,000 project will include new pool liners, concrete repair, refurbishment of the water slides, and landscaping. Those will take place over the course of this summer. Future projects include renovations to hard sports surfaces at Patriarch Park, pedestrian bridges, Lake Lansing Road intersection improvements, and relocating the Northern Tier Trail for a total of about $2.1 million. So the question is, where is all this money coming from during a time where the city has seen a decrease in revenue? We've been very lucky in securing funding through the Natural Resources Trust Fund, through the Ingham County Parks and Trails Millage Fund, as well as through the city's income tax funds, the portion that are allocated to parks and recreation. Longpre says majority of the money was secured before the pandemic. We have had to adjust a little bit the timing on our projects to make sure that the funds are available um, prior to. And the commission is focusing on updating the aging infrastructure and adding diversity and inclusion elements adding QR codes to some of our signage so that people who um, have visual impairments can, um, you know, hear what the sign says. Over the next 10 years, the projects are anticipated to cost $16.2 million, and Longpre says they're still trying to figure out where exactly that money will come from. Currently, there, there isn't an identified funding source for that, and that is definitely something that um, we are going to need to be looking at departmentally. Longpre says the improvements are much needed, and the department will begin working on where to get the money over the next decade. Those are investments in existing infrastructure that is needed no matter what. Your neighborhood reporter in East Lansing, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.